Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be painting on this four inch rock that I got from The Rock Shop Co. on Etsy. And I will leave a link in the description below for that. But um, they sell them pre-made, which is awesome. And I've already painted this one black using Folk Art Multi-Surface in pure black. And they come with a little center dot that's usually like a little bit raised up. So I just take my fingernail and kind of like chip it off so that it's smooth. And then also you can see the center dot better. So that's that. And I'm actually making this rock for a friend who is a hairdresser in Florida. And I'm just gonna make her this cute little rock so that she can keep it on her hairdressing station. And she requested that it match kind of the theme of the salon, which is white, black, and gold. So that'll be fun. And I'm going to be using the Shuttle Art Metallics in the champagne gold, flash black, and white pearl. And then I'll also be using Deco Art white in cotton ball. I'm going to be using a 12 point mandala stencil and the general's chalk pencil. I'll be using my nail stylus tool and dotting rod. So I'm going to start out by drawing the guide marks. So I'm just putting it right over the center. I'm going to push down. And then I'm going to put a Lazy Susan underneath. Make sure my pencil's sharp. And I'm going to <clears throat> use this little compass to make the circles going around. Uh, it's almost gone, so it doesn't fit. I need to order new ones. Luckily, I have one more. It's sometimes kind of hard to use the compass on these rocks because they're just so smooth, so it doesn't really stick well. So I try to like press it in a little bit and then the Lazy Susan really helps. And then I'm just kind of eyeballing the spacing here. Since it's a smaller rock, <clears throat> I'm doing the lines closer together than I would on a larger item. Just so that we have more lines to work with. Okay, and there's our guide marks. All right, let's get started. The Shuttle Art Metallic is a little bit thick, so I'm just adding a couple drops of water to thin this out. Deco Art in the color white can sometimes be really runny. And I also have folk art in the color white, which is a little bit too thick. So sometimes when I'm working with white, I'll just mix the deco art and the folk art together to get a perfect consistency. Mm -hmm. 
The spacing was just a little bit off here, so I'm just removing the dot with a wet Q-tip and we'll go in and redo it. The black flash is a little bit hard to see in the video, but it's just a metallic -y black color that um, is really pretty and hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better at the end. Here I'm using the white pearl color. I know it's a little bit hard to differentiate on camera between the white and the metallic white pearl. So this is the pearl color and it just adds a little bit of shine and dimension.
I think two dots would have fit better here rather than three dots. The white paint was still a little bit liquidy, so on this dot, the paint kind of ran down into the dots above it. So just trying to erase it and dot over it so that it is not running. Once the paint has fully dried, we can go ahead and wipe off the guide marks using a wet cloth or a Pampers wet wipe. step is to apply a varnish. Here I'm using Krylon's triple thick glaze and I will do one layer, let it completely dry, and then do one more and then we are finished. Mm -hmm. 